RCD type AC shall only be used to serve fixed equipment where it is known that the load current contains no DC components. And so that begs the question, how will you code it on an EICR? I think the best way to look at it is if the observation relates to this new requirement in Amendment 2 of the AC edition, then I would give it a code free because it's a new requirement. However, there are some examples of installations that required a different type of RCD prior to Amendment 2. For example, solar PV installations where the inverter has no basic separation between the AC and the DC side, also requirements for electric vehicles. So it's important to bear in mind, if you find type AC uh, RCDs in the installation and you're just trying to decide what uh, code to give it, bear in mind what the observation relates to. Generally speaking though, if it relates to this new requirement, then you're going to be looking at a code three, provided that the installation complies with the previous edition that it was designed to.